Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now I am embarking on a Phantom of the Opera costume. So I decided to try a new service for me, which is Prime Wardrobe from Amazon. And hopefully I'll be able to get some shoes. So let's go. As I said today, I'm trying out Prime Wardrobe. Now I am not sponsored by Amazon in any way, so this will be a completely honest review of the service. So far, I really don't see any downsides. Now if you are a member of Amazon Prime, you can use this service from Amazon. It applies to eligible clothes and you can choose up to six, but they will send them to you for free. You won't have to pay for them to try on. You have a seven day period to try them on and decide if you want to keep any. If not, there is prepaid postage and you simply just send it back. So far, I really don't see any downsides to this. So where it applies to this cosplay, I decided I need some shoes. They need to be Victorian-esque looking, quite dressy. So I just perused Amazon. I found a few really nice different styles of boot. They're mainly black high lace boots with a heel, but I ordered a selection in this style and within two days, I have them right here. So it looks like I have a big box full of shoe boxes. So let's unbox it. This is a big box. Of course, I'm looking to return at least all but one of these pairs of shoes. So we've got to keep this box intact. It looks like it's a simple open right here. Yep, I have five sets of boots here on Prime Wardrobe. <sighs> right. So I have five sets of boots here. Uh, one red tape, two Clarks, one Bertie and one Hudson. This is good because this is about 370 pounds worth of shoes, which I really don't have the money to spend on buying them all in. So I'm glad we get to try them and then return them. So I'm just gonna get these out and we're gonna have a look. So here we go, here are all five sets of boots. Now I pop them in price order. This of course is a factor that I have to consider. Um, so the cheapest is up the front here, going across here to the most expensive, this one at the back. I can say right out of the box, I really like the style of these two. I think they are the most accurate in terms of shape that I wanted, but I'm gonna be trying them all just to see which fits the best, which of course is what this is all about. Now, of course, the good thing about this is that you can not only get different styles of boot like I have, you can also get different sizes of the same boot. Um, this I may have to do if I like one, but it doesn't quite fit right. Uh, but these are all size 11, which is generally the size that I have. And we've just got all these different styles to try. So there is the red tape boot. This retails at £38.46. And I can tell you now, it's, it's okay. It's not the most comfortable shoe in the world, but I think for the money, if you were pushed, I think that would be quite a nice shoe. Let's try the next one. Number two, the first of the Clarks. Now the price jump up to this one is to £54.50. I can say this is a hell of a lot more comfortable than the other one. Clarks is a brand that I know and they've always been good if I've ever got them and they are comfortable. This is definitely a comfortable boot. Having said that, I'm not sure I'm overly keen on the style of it but we definitely need a mix of look and comfort when we come to picking shoes. Now the second of the Clark shoes, jumping up to 79 pounds and three pence, such a random price, but I really like the, uh, the detailing on the top of this one. Uh, the only thing I'm really unsure about is this heel. I think this could be a really snazzy shoe just outside of this costume, to be honest. Again, this one is really comfortable. Uh, I've got no complaints there. I wonder if I could try a size down in some of these. It's not as long as the shoe, but I am kind of filling out the width of the shoe. But I think this is my favorite so far in terms of the look of it and the comfort of it. But it's right in the price range where I would be happy. Just unsure on that bright sole. Now onto the Bertie. Now there's not really much I can say about this. This is meant for much longer and narrower feet than mine. It's, it, it's pretty uncomfortable and that's pretty much the end of that, I think. Next. And now the Hudson. Now I was quite excited about trying this one on because it has the distressed look to it. But again, I'm not sure who these shoes are made for or I just have really high arches on my feet. But if you look at the lacing, it really just doesn't do up. Which is a real shame because I really like, I really like the look of that. But my foot just doesn't fit in the shoe, which is a real shame. I'm going back to the Clarks. So I've decided to try both on this time. Of course, this is that second set of Clark shoes. I have to say, I think these are going to be the ones. They are very, very comfy, even for not even being broken in or anything yet. I might go walk around in them for a little bit. So I really love these shoes. I've got them on now, actually. 
uh, they're really comfy. Now I'm just thinking, are they a smidgen too big? They fit perfectly fine, but they're a bit too long for my feet. So now I'm just thinking, why not order a few different sizes and try them out? So of course, even though I like those ones, because I want to try them in different sizes, I've got to return the ones that I have and then get some more in the same size. I'm going to see if I can get a 10, maybe 10 and a half, just to try that size difference. Prepaid postage, let's send it back. One eternity later. <sighs> so, Phantom Boots round two. This is the second batch of boots I've got from Amazon Prime Wardrobe. They've come in bags this time, which is different from the last time where it was an enormous box. But I ordered the same one that I liked from the last one, the size down, which I'm hoping will be the correct one. If not, we've still got the size larger. And because you had to order three, I couldn't just get two. I ordered one of the same ones again, just to double check everything. So let's carefully open these and get to trying one again. In terms of returning the last pack, it was really easy. I just dropped it off back at the post office and the whole thing hasn't cost me anything so far. I've even got these three new ones to try, still not cost me a penny. So this is the one I really like from the last batch. It was just maybe a little bit big. So I actually ordered from an 11, the 10 and a half, so it's slightly smaller. I'm hoping this is the one. And this is the other one I like from the batch, but these are way more expensive than these. So I'm hoping this is my, this is my one. Also this time I do have my costume. Very exciting. I'm not going to show it to you all just yet. We're going to wait for an upcoming video and I'll show you what that is and how I got all that together. But we can try on the trousers and see how they fit with the boots. So let's give this one, this is my front runner, let's give him a go first. Guys, 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 I think this is the one. This is a beautiful boot. I'm definitely more of a 10 and a half than an 11. Not that that interests any of you, but um, interesting to me. Uh, you can get a sneaky little hint of my. Uh, Phantom trousers here, which are also great. But yeah, I am I am super stoked with these. Look, it's a lovely sort of Victorian looking boot, but brand new. It's so comfortable. This is really comfortable. Um, but I think this is the one. I'm gonna try on the other one. I am over the moon with this pair of shoes. Look at that. They are lovely. Again, a little cheeky preview of my of my trousers for this costume. Of course you could go and look around different charity shops, thrift stores, whatever, to find a nice pair of boots for your costume, but I just couldn't find anything in this style that I wanted, which is kind of like the faux Victorian boot, which I think is brilliant. Got me a pair of boots. So there we go guys, that's my Phantom boots all sorted. I am so happy to have found a decent pair of boots. They are very comfy. Like I said before, I do have the costume all done. It was really fun to go and source that out and I'll be telling you how I did that in an upcoming video. And as far as Amazon Prime goes for getting costume pieces, great when you don't have to pay for something and they deliver it to you, you get to try it, send it back. I know other companies do this, but it's my first time using Amazon Prime and all I can say is that I highly recommend. If you see something you like, oh, go for it. You do have to have Amazon Prime. Things I'm paying for that anyway to get quick delivery and all the movie stuff you get good omens brilliant show it's just turned out that it's really worth it for me do stay tuned to see how this costume turns out i think it's gonna look amazing and of course lots more prop and costume fun coming up on the channel in the near future i hope you enjoyed this one and of course i will see you in the next video and until then take care bye bye